Hello and welcome. My name is Sebastian and I want to talk with you today about some of the commands which include creating tables, insert data into tables, alter tables and how it then looks. Okay, so as you saw I use here my one compiler. So usually even before I do all the select and froms and all the SQL queries, I created every time the tables. And today we want to look how it's been done. So the first thing what we are looking is the create table command. So let's dive into this. As you can see, it starts every time when we want to create a new table, which can be possible when you have new data and you want to put it into your data systems that you created with the command create table. Then here, this one, brands2, is the name of the table. So you can use it brands2 or products new something what you want. Okay, here in this case we leave it as brands2. And that, then you see here that we open the parentheses and it starts with the columns which we then prepare. So here in this case we have the brand ID, the brand name and the country. For each column you have to say what data type it is. So there are data types like uh, numbers, var charts or here we have even primary keys. In this case, we had here the brand ID, which is our serial prime primary key, and then the comma, and then the brand name, which is a var char. So this means a character with 250 um, items max, and it should be not null, and the country, var char 255. When you want to add more to it, you can then say also, oh, what could be the country like address, Watcher 255 and also here we don't want that it is not null. And then in the end you close it and that's it. Okay, so then when we would run the command it would create the table. Okay, then next one is insert because in the end it's just a shell. So you created the tables and the columns and nothing is in there. So what you add next to is insert into. Let's do this a little bit. Come on here, scroll a little bit down. Insert into, brands to and then we want to use brand name and country. So we have here our two columns, brand name and country. So insert into first the table name and then in which columns you want to enter something. And then comes the value command. Open up and then you see here. So smart AI is our first brand name and the first country is UK. Close the parentheses, comma, second row, data universe, and the country is Germany. And the third one is here in this case, Proto Machines Limited, comma, USA. And when you want to add now one more, and we will just do this. So, AI fantasy name, for instance, and the country is France. Okay then you close the parentheses and then semicolon. Okay, as you saw, we when we create a table, we put here just in an address. So what you also can do is, as the primary key is every time added normally, we can also say now, okay, we want just not the brand name and the country, we also want to have the address, which we are putting into this. So we have to find now for everyone an address. So street one in Berlin. 
and it's not UK, sorry, London. So, yeah, but here it fits better. So, Berliner Street 2. In Berlin. So, this one is in USA. So, Sunny Street, yeah? Sunny Street. Four, and this is in New York. Don't know if it's even sunny there. Could be. And then in France, I think this is every time with Rue de la Plus. I don't know. Not French. Twenty-two. In Paris. Okay, good. When we had now our branch table created, we have now here also some data, which we put into it. And then you see here, alter table, branch to rename column, brand name to company. So yes, with alter table, you can, yeah, manipulate any type in the the table itself, so rename column brand name, which we created here, to company, or you can rename column address to ADD, or something like this, all possible. Okay, so in summary, create table, this is the command where you create it, you have to use the name of the of the table and you have to also create the data types of each column and each column inside here so this we did here with the brand id serial primary key address Varchar 255 then with the insert into also again table name then open up the parentheses with the columns and then the values then you can also add values into it. This can be also split it. So this means even if you have in the beginning just not the address, then you just make the country and then you can also make insert into brands to address values and then it comes uh, here these values which we had here. This is also possible. And then with auto you can change certain types in the table. Auto table brands to rename address to add. Okay, so now we want to see if it's working, yeah? So we say we select everything from our brands to table. Let's see if it works. Address does not exist. Address, address, yeah, typo. This happens, okay. Good, our table is created. Brand IDs we have, we have the names, we have the countries, and we have our ADD, so like address, what we say. When we don't would use this auto command, there would be still standing address. And when we would, let's change now here something. Um, let's add one more, so we say here comma, where is my comma? Where is it? Where is my comma? Now it is here. Okay, so one more LLM first. Okay, it's a brand name. The country is the US of A. And the address is, what is, oh, Klondike. How does it write? Klondike free. In, what's that, what's that city in Alaska? 
how is it name anchorage great anchorage okay let's see so what we now did is we altered or we insert more data in our table it should be not only now four rows it should be now five rows because we put also this one here inside let's see if it's working yes it's working great and yeah that's actually it um i hope it was helpful for you how you can now create tables insert into data something and then you make your normal sequence on it please like and subscribe and i will hopefully see you in some other video